Well, howdy all. Welcome to my little work area. It's kind of a catch-all. This is where I put all my stuff that I was cutting last fall before it got cold out. I kind of put it in buckets. I remember doing that other video the other day on a few things that I had kind of laying around on my pile over there. My saw usually sits right here. It's in that shop there, and that's where I do all my cutting. And then my wheel buffer and stuff, polishers right there under that cloth. So it's kind of all in the same area, but I thought I'd go through this today and I was kind of wondering what the heck do I have that I was doing last year that I postponed. Eh, let's see if I'm organized. I was going to do this yesterday, but the battery ran out on my video recorder, so I waited until the day to do it. So what do we got here? We got some good stuff going here. Yeah, it's just a fossil and matrix. It's limestone. Put him at the bottom there. I'll put him right up here. Ah, jump. Okay. Uh, it looks like we got some uh, Yeah, got some jasper, red jasper. Looks like it's cutting on him for a little bit there. Got some. Uh, looks like a lot of Montana agate. I was cutting on him last year. Decided I'd wait. Most of this stuff I window it, see if it's worth cutting for the next year. Looks like it is. Now what do we got here? This is moss agate. Eastern Oregon. Trying to do this left-handed, but there we go. Got to cut this stuff real thin because it's pretty dense. Got some good stuff showing, I guess, so it'll be a cutter. Now, what else we got here? Look at all the mud on there. I can't even tell what it is. Yes, this is warm water, folks. Okay, another Montana agate. This one is pretty clear. But if you cut it certain directions and stuff, you can get iris out of it. I don't know if I'm going to continue cutting on here. But he's in the bucket for a reason, I guess. What we got here? Brazilian. Brazilian agate. I'll probably continue cutting him. I usually cut this in thicker slabs. I'll probably cut him about right in there. Save this one as a specimen. This one is a thick slab. Put a polish on both of them. I got quite a bit of this material. What do we got here? This is Texas. Real grande agate ever tell by looking at it. This is right against the Texas Mexican border. Got a buddy, a couple buddies down there that hound that area. They have to strap weapons to their sides when they go rock hunting because they will be shot at from the Mexican side of the border. And they have been shot at, so you just never know if you're going to run into coyotes down there transporting the illegals or not. But a lot of them are quitting. They're not going to go down there anymore, so whatever material I have is going to have to be a keeper. That'll be cut. Oh, what do we got here? And this is some more of that Rio Grande. This has got a lot of moss. Moss get in it. I like it. I should cut a piece off of this this summer. That'd make a beautiful cab, wouldn't it? I think it would. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys have any friends down in Texas and they hound that South Texas border around the Rio Grande River, hit them up. Might be able to score some of this material. 
Oh, what do we else we got here? This is just petrified wood from the local river. Wanted to see what the interior looked like. I think I'm just going to tumble him just the way it is. So I'm going to have to leave him out. Oh, what do else we got in here? Looks like it's all petrified wood. Yeah. Yeah, it got pretty dirty. Sitting in the mud. This might be stuff that I wanted to uh, just throw in a tumbler as a whole piece or get it polished. Yeah, we'll put it in there. At least I know where it's at. What do we got here? Some more Montana agate. I cut a lot of Montana agate. It's about one of my most favorite pieces of material to cut besides thunder eggs. I like hounding the Yellowstone River for Montana agate. Oh, when I get out to Montana to do it. What we got here is just red jasper, but sometimes you cut into that stuff and it turns out pretty nice. This stuff's dirty. Let's get a scrub brush after it, but not a bad little piece there. Got some nice greens going in on it. This one here, I think I'm just gonna might leave it as a hole too. It's pretty nice. No, what else we got in here? Thunder egg. No, these are this is my wife Tammy's. These are Mexican coconuts. These are from northern Mexico. Too bad. I better keep this out. I forgot it was in there. Got to throw a polish on these and give them to her. Oh, one more, one more culprit. What is in here? This is off the Yellowstone. I just picked it up. Thought it was kind of unusual. And like everybody knows, you don't know what you're going to get until you cut into it. It's different. Kind of reminds me of olite, and that's a material we have here in Oregon. Kind of different. I'll probably play around with it a little more, and maybe maybe do a little cabin on it, see if I can get a decent cab off of it. Well, that's that guy there. Push him in. What else we got here? We got this guy. Yeah, that's the best thing to do is fill buckets instead of making piles like I did over there. And you can kind of hide the stuff. I've had people walk off with my stuff here. Don't help when the main road is right there into our complex. I've had people steal out of my yard. Just makes you mad, but what can you do? I know what I could do if I was living in Montana or North Dakota, but you can't do it in Oregon. Go to jail. This piece here is from Texas too, and I don't like it, but I got a nephew that does. Just about ruby red, purple colors in it. I'm gonna cut into it a little more and see if I can get away from them. Little fracture points and stuff in there. It's got some little divots like that, pits and stuff. But, well, see what happens. And of course, Got this fossil. I call them death plates because that's what they are. A lot of people like this material, but I don't. This was in a bucket of rock I got. I'll just put it in a grab bag when I'm ready to get rid of some stuff. Somebody will be happy to get it. There's a limb cast. This looks like Blue Mountain over in uh, Eastern Oregon. Here's some more of that fossil plate. Now we got here Central Oregon Jasper. I think I'm just going to leave this just the way it is. I 
No, this is not. I correct myself. I think this is Ohio Flint. Yeah, this is Flint. I'm just going to leave it like this and have somebody make me a nice point out of it. I think it would be a nice point. I think I'm going to leave him out too. And this is just a local river find here. Kind of quartz agate. Find a lot of it. A lot of people don't pick it up, but I do. Sometimes you get lucky and find some nice material off of it. And I think there's going to be a couple pieces here. Like right in here, it'll make some beautiful calves. Put him in there. Of course, man, I didn't think I had a lot of this material, but I guess I do. Fossil. Okay, what do we got here? Nice thunder egg. I like thunder eggs. Probably got a ton of them laying around here. All kinds of different places. And we got here, I think this is a piece of Wonderstone. I don't like this material. Probably leave him as a whole too and let somebody else have it. Do what they want with it. And what do we got here? What do we have here? Well, looks like it might have some color in it. I see some reds going through there. Huh. Unidentified. Like it here, I think I'll cut on this side. Because I see some red moss in there. Huh. Pretty cool. What do we got here? That's nice. This is... Looks like green and red, some type of jasper. Guess I won't know until I cut it off. And we got here. I don't know what the heck that is. Looks like some type of quartz. A little bit of agate, a little bit of jasper. Eh, what do we got here? A piece of petrified wood. Looks like it's been in the creek. Quite a bit there. Pretty cool. I'll be darned. I don't know that one. I ain't even gonna look at that piece. Okay. What else I got here? I'm gonna switch hands. I'm not very good at recording left-handed. Okay, let's put it here. There we go. Let's stick that guy. There. Oh yeah. Montana moss agate. Doesn't get any better than that. Let's see what we got here. A lot of water lines on that. I have three uncles that started teaching me how to work agate. 1962. Only seven years old, but they said if you cut right into them water lines going straight down, you're gonna get more nice looking designs and material out of it so I think that's what I'm gonna do so I must have just windowed that for that purpose. There's a nice Montana. Might just tumble him the way it is. Oh, not too bad. What do we got here? Some more Montana. Tana Moss, Yellowstone River. And some more Montana Moss. It's got a lot going on with it here. Yeah, I like, I like this one. Yeah. What do we got? Now this one, the real dark. This is a Montana Moss, but so dark, gotta have the sun out on it. But 
cut a real thin piece off of here one that goes two summers ago and uh, it's got a lot going on with it it's just so dense really got to play with it I think I only cut like a uh, about three sixteenths inch thick and uh, yeah, like I said there was a lot going on with it I have to do that again if I remember I'll post what it looks like oh what do we got here looks like this is ready for get tumbled uh, this one here I was cutting for iris wasn't getting anything it's still got a lot of characteristics with it not much Here's a nice one. I got a lot of kind of moss. Usually when people are in my shop looking around and I just tell them to keep on walking by my barrel of moss agate because I'm not interested in selling it or trading it or nothing. I'm a hoarder when it comes to Montana moss, I guess. But can't help it. I like the stuff. This one here, I'm probably just going to window it a couple of different directions. It's got some nice bots in it. A little care. It's got its own characteristics. Oh, what do we got here? There's a nice Montana. Until I got oil on them because it don't stay wet very long. Got some nice designs and stuff going on with it. Might be able to play around with that one. Oh, here's another one. This one's going to have some iris in it. Pretty clear. I'll just work through the fractured seals here. Because you got to cut thin to get iris, and the fractures will open up on you when they're cut thin. But Yes, I pulled iris off of them before. Oh, here's another one. This is off of that one, pretty sure. This one is going to be iris in it, too. Pretty clear. A lot of people don't like them when they find them, they throw them back, but I pick them up. Because, uh, yes, you will have iris in them. Okay, iris, some people are asking. You get a rainbow effect. When they get them nice and polished up. Beautiful when they get iris in them. It's got a couple of characteristics on it that are nice. Oh, we're getting the little guys now. Some of these I just might throw in the tumbler and tumble them as they are. Got a little bit going on with them. There is not one Montana agate that is the same. They all have their different characteristics. Been tumbling for millions of years on that Yellowstone River. Yeah, I can remember looking at these when I was seven years old in Montana. Sitting on a stool by the bench. Watching my uncles cut away on it. Oh, why don't you go out and play with your cousins? So I'd rather be doing this. You're a weird kid. But I'm glad I stayed a weird kid because here I am. Look at that, that's nice. I like that. This camera ain't picking up what I see, but that's going to be a killer piece. I don't know if I can zoom in on him or not. Yeah, that's going to be nice. Yeah, the one uncle, Uncle Dick, he taught me the. Montana agates and stuff. You can see the water lines in here. If you look in pretty close. I had two more uncles, Uncle Henry and Uncle Willis. They taught me about the fossils. Had the best of two worlds. Willis is mostly on the fossils, and Henry, the fossils and the gold and the silver and the sapphires and the garnets, and all kinds of other stuff that was around Montana. And I, I soaked it all in. I'm glad I did. Second generation hounder. 
Now we got some grandkids, 12 of them, and about seven of them are into rocks now too, so it's gonna be third generation. And I just hope it keeps going. This one here, I think I was just gonna tumble this way. Take a beautiful shine. Oh, what do we got here, yeah. Yeah, these are gonna shine up pretty good. A lot going, Montana, just so much stuff going on with it. So many different characteristics. Yeah, if you're ever in Montana, and a lot of Montana people know this, um, you're ever around Savage, Sydney area, visit the Harmon family. They're the Montana Moss Agate Kings, and they've been doing it for a long time. They have some beautiful material and some good stories. I've talked with them before. Uh, the old man, he's pretty interesting. Yeah, Montana Moss. Can't beat it. I like it. I like it a lot. There's probably some Montanas I got in my shop that I'll never cut. Just like the way it looks. Yeah, look at that. Just beauties. I think I'll try to just roll him that way it is here too. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Like that. Oh, we got a couple more here. That one's pretty dense too, but there's stuff going on with it. I right, wouldn't continue. There. Too bad the sun wasn't really out today. You could really play with the light with these things. Oh, look at that. Probably just roll him just the way it is too. Pretty clear inside. Might get iris off him though. I might pull one more piece off it. But it's that one there. What else we got here? Hopefully it ain't boring you guys. Okay, we have one bucket. One bucket left. What do we got up here? Here's some of that. Ohio Flint. This is call it Flint Ridge. Where they get a lot of this flint at. Makes beautiful arrowheads. I have some in the house that I've had people nap for me. I really enjoy it. Oh, what do we got here? This is, I don't know what this is, but I found it in Eastern Oregon. And I can't remember what it is. It's from the Quartz family. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna cab him. Solid, no fractures or nothing in it. Oh, what do we got here? This is, looks like old light. <laughs> Stuff I was talking about earlier. Yeah, this is old light. You can get some nice cabs off of them. Better get a few out of him. Ah, just a chunk of petrified wood. This is, uh, this is from Wyoming. Okay, what do we got here? There's just some... What do we got here? There's just some quartz that I'd cut. Probably just throw him in a tumbler too. I'm going to be busy this summer just with these little buckets of stuff I got going here. This here looks like it was a piece of limb cast, but agatized. Got the seams going all the way through it. That's pretty cool. We're going to a little bit. Oh, what do we got here? Here we go. Turkey tails. Thunder egg. I think this is from the Hermiston, Oregon area. Buddy, give me this. And here's the other piece of it. Yeah, that's where that came from. Buddy Roy gave this to me, gifted it. Like it. Nice turkey tails on it. I think this is an Opal Butte Thunder Egg. 
think some dogs know I'm out here and they're gonna start balking. I always give them treats. Some more limb cast. I think this is from I think this is from the Blue Mountain. Nice stuff. I'll probably lob some pieces off of him. Nice, nice chunk there. Oh, what else we got here? Yeah, there's some more Jasper. This is uh, Central Oregon Jasper. Let me see something here. Let's put that bucket there. Put that there. And that fell in there. Scoot this bucket up. There we go. So, what do we got here? There's some more Jasper. This is from the Biggs area. Hunk of Biggs Jasper. And what do we got here? Still, I think this, can't remember if this is Chevron Agon. I haven't even touched it yet. I'll probably lob off a piece on him, slab it out, see what I can get off of it. And what do we got here? This is from Texas, Rio Grande. It's not all the same type of agate down there, but you get some nice colors off of it, different designs. This one's pretty much a plain Jane. Got a little bit of agate going on with it. Right, what do we got here? And there's some more Jasper. Yeah, sometimes I'll just go out and cut, just to cut. I don't know where that came from. Nice little piece of material. What do we got here? Okay, we have... This is some more, this is southern Texas stuff, but it ain't from the Rio Grande. Might be. Yeah, this is Rio Grande. Look at all the nice moss in there. This is moss agate. Really got to pull in close to see it. That's pretty cool. So when you get back here, you can't see nothing. Got here. There we go. This is from the polka dot mine, polka dot agate, Central Oregon. Got its name from the little tiny polka dots that you see in there. This, this comes in a lot of different colors. We got all kinds of colors. Uh, what we got here. This is some. Um, I think it was supposed to be crazy lace. Didn't turn out very good. Got some bag here. Oh, it's got bags on it. But what do we got here? This is banded flint from Michigan. Heavy piece. I think this is all this is Michigan. What do we got here? Blue quartz from Pennsylvania. Don't have the best stuff wet. And what do we have here? This is uh, Pederite from Pennsylvania. Huh. Uh, I can't remember who sent me that material. Yeah, this is uh, I don't like Oh, let's do one more. Color quits. I don't want this too long. What do we got here? Some more real grande. I know you guys like looking at that. You'd never tell that was a beauty, would you? Until you cut into it. I love this stuff. Just about each cut's a little bit different too, but look at all the moss. Real grande agate. I like that stuff. Matter of fact, I'm going to put him in there. Put a 
else we got here? Okay, local river. This is Red Jasper. A lot of people don't pick this stuff up on the river, but Buddy and I, James, and I, we pick it up all the time. Look at it's bracketed. Look at that. It's all healed, too. Isn't that cool what Mother Nature does? Yeah, beautiful stuff. That's gonna, I think I'm going to glue him on a board. Maybe I can get a couple more slabs off of him. Here's a piece of dino bone. At an estate sale, I think over by the Sweet Home area, Lebanon area. And uh, I just picked up a barrel or a five gallon bucket of rocks, paid five bucks for it. And this is in there. Got lucky. It's pretty dense. And I think I just wanted a window it. I was going to put a polish on it. Just never got around to finishing up, so I better put him up there. And folks, you're saying, yay, he's done. I'm done. And there's a bunch of stuff there. That's all petrified wood. I think that's going to be heading to the polisher. Would you believe this one here? I'm putting in the tumbler. Just as it is. I got some big tumblers. <coughs> Excuse me. I had one in the tumbler last year. I got it on video somewhere on YouTube. This one's about the same, so that's going to be fun. Yeah, these all need polished or might cut into them a little bit. See what's going on with them. But yeah, that's for a later date. Well, people, I guess this is the stuff I had laying around from late last fall when it was getting cold. Didn't feel like cutting when it gets cold. As always, thanks for looking.